How do you determine the home's value? Well, watch this short video on CMAs. Hi, this is Blake Davenport with the Davenport Group. I'm a local realtor here in the DC metro area, I'm here to share with you short and simple real estate tips. Today, we're gonna to be talking about CMAs or comparative market analysis. So what's a CMA? So basically a CMA is a report that a real estate agent does to determine a home's value. So how do you do a CMA? So first you take the subject property, say that's 123 Bradana Street, say that has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it's in a specific neighborhood. So we're gonna look at the past sales. Typically you look at like past six months of sales, again, it depends on, on the market, also depends on how, how rare that property is. You know, typically you wanna only just go a couple streets out or in that specific neighborhood. You know, the value of a home can vary greatly depending upon a school line or and if, it, if it's in a different county. So just because it's one street over, it can vary greatly. Maybe it's in a very desirable neighborhood uh, that has access to a lake, uh, for instance. Once you do that, you determine the most comparable uh, properties that have sold recently, and then you adjust their price based on the characteristics of the home. So say the subject property has four bedrooms, but the other comparable home has three bedrooms. So you're gonna add value to that comparable home. So say $10,000, you're gonna add it onto the price because we're trying to normalize every single home. So you're gonna go throughout the home, you're gonna normalize every feature. So if there's a fireplace plus 2,500, maybe it has more square footage. So depending upon uh, who you talk to, maybe they're considering $60 per square foot. So if it's an extra 400 square feet, that's an extra $24,000 that you're adding on to the property or subtracting. So you're just subtracting and adding depending upon the features that a home has or does not have and you do that uh, and then basically you average what you're seeing and that will give you a pretty good estimate of what the home is worth. Uh, this is what an appraiser does when they're doing the appraisal report and since we're in an area where there's such a risk of the property not appraising or I, in my opinion that's a buyer's biggest risk if they're waiving an appraisal contingency which often happens in this area so you want to make sure that you'll do a CMA and this is what we do with every one of our clients. So there you have it. It's very short and simple real estate tip on CMAs. It's comparative market analysis where we'll determine the home's value. We'll typically do this right before you make an offer. If you have any questions at all, leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Click the like icon if you like this video. Also click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the bell icon to be notified of our next video. But thanks again for checking out this week's real estate tip on CMAs. Go, go.